And yet, having said that, I must say, Mormonism, God love it, it does take crazy to a whole new level. I mean, all religions are magic tricks. Mormonism is just a particularly bad novelty shop level intelligence insulting magic trick. This religion is so ridiculous, Tom Cruise would not join it and Glenn Beck did. <laughs> For example, there, there's one question I always like to ask prophets, and that is, what did you do before you got into the prophesizing business? And the answer, with many of them, but most prominently Joseph Smith, is, I was a con man. <laughs> and I don't say this as just part of my normal religious snark. I mean Joseph Smith was actually arrested for being the sort of sleazy grifter who, if he were alive today, would be spamming your inbox with ads for fake boner pills. <laughs> Everywhere he went, he got in trouble for screwing people out of money. From New York to Ohio to Mississippi uh, to Missouri and Illinois, Smith had to keep moving to avoid angry mobs and prosecuting attorneys. Or as rappers call it, touring. <laughs> but, look. Mormonism is just the silly end of a larger problem, which is that religion itself is a con, and it's a con you pull on your own mind. It's not unfair to ask serious candidate Mitt Romney if he really believes that Joseph Smith received golden plates from an angel in 1823 and translated them into scripture that contains not a single person or place name that has been shown to ever exist. Are you too gullible to be president if you believe in a world full of characters who appear in the historical record exactly as often as leprechauns? An election is a job interview, and if you hire a plumber, who tells you he can't fix your toilet, but he'll pray for the water to recede. <laughs> the six inches of shit in your bedroom is what you deserve. All right, that's our show.